Tiny Tina's Wonderlands looks brilliant, but can your PC handle it? Let's find out. So let's look at those minimum requirements. Straight off the bat, my eyes are drawn to the graphics card requirements. That's the GeForce 900 series, which came out in 2014. That's awesome to see, as it'll allow so many more gamers to check out this title. Not only that, but it only requires 6GB of RAM. These are minimum specs as they should be. There are no big surprises in it needing Windows 10 as a minimum operating system and weighing in at 75GB of storage. That's a lot of game packed in. Next, let's look at those recommended requirements. Another big win, as we see the GTX 10 series graphics cards that came out in 2016. The most exciting aspect, and the reason I call this out, is that that's also a five year old graphics card, and that's for recommended. It's gonna give this game massive reach in terms of the audience. You aren't gonna be required to have the most up-to-date systems to enjoy this game. Sure, the more up-to-date system, the better quality and experience you'll get, but these are attractive for recommended specs. There's also a leap from 6 gig to 16 gig in terms of recommended RAM, which is much more in line with what I'd expected. If you're looking to pick up Tiny Tina's Wonderlands when it launches on March 25th, 2022, then I don't think many will have to worry about the age old question of can my PC run this? Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button to let me know. I'll have more videos soon, so if you don't want to miss out, make sure to hit that sub too. But until next time, have a great day and I'll catch you soon.